Hello everyone, uh, in this video I want to show you how to quickly and very fast uh, edit the length of shear wall in ETAPS. Okay, I have this model. Uh, first you need to draw walls and uh, assign everything you want like uh, let me select walls then you want you should assign every thing you want like a stiffness modifier or uh, pile labels and so on after that uh, this this is very important uh, you should uh, you need to assign auto wall, uh, wall auto mesh options and uh, use uh, this and uh, for this one it's up to you for example I set this one to 0.4 meter okay so after that you should assign one grid line to the edge of wall I mean for that I should uh, select this point on the edge of wall be careful uh, there are distance between the this beam and the edge of wall okay I should uh, use this option at grid lines at selected joints and uh, I want uh, grid line parallel to Y direction so I should use this option and ok I have a uh, this uh, extra grid line along y-axis on the edge of the wall the name is uh, 10 ok after that I right click and uh, select this one glue joints to grids again right click add modify grids modify show grids consider I want to lengthen this uh, shear wall one meter so I should use uh, the grid line 10 this one be careful I have 10 in the y direction and uh, in the read as ordinates I want uh, I should plus minus one so the coordinates of the edge of wall now is one meter to the left so uh, I have shear wall uh, I have uh, the shear wall uh, length and one meter ok so you have it and uh, very quickly and fast you lengthen shear wall one meter you can shorten it and uh, so on so, uh, in this video, I show you and we saw how to quickly uh, edit length of shear wall very fast and you don't need to delete shear wall every time and uh, again uh, draw shear wall and assign everything and so on. And uh, this is a very fast uh, method. Uh, you can use it in ETAPS. Thank you very much.